What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. Today I wanted to show you an alternative product to one of Apple's that won't be released until 2018, the AirPower Mat, and show you guys how to get wireless charging on your Apple AirPods case right now using a cool mod I saw online. Just wanted to recreate it and see how viable it is. So, little quick video for you. Let's check out some Apple AirPower and wireless charging case for the AirPods alternatives. All right, so first things first, I wanted to try the wireless charging case mod on the Apple AirPods pods case without having to buy the new $69 adapter. Now this is accomplished using one of these pads, just a little wireless charging receiving pad that's used on a regular iPhone that doesn't have wireless charging. And I'm sure you guys have seen these on my channel. So I wanted to see how viable is it? Let's see if it works well and uh, just overall how it looks. Now, obviously it's not going to be a plug and play solution. There's going to have to be a little bit of modding and cutting here, but essentially what we're going to do is remove this, attach it to this and put a case over it. So it doesn't look like a completely uh, modded bomb that's about to go off. I mean, it's going to have little wires sticking all over the place. So I'm going to try and make this as clean as possible in the pictures. It looked pretty decent. So first things first is I'm going to take this apart here, uh, split it in two and see what's going on inside here. And uh, you guys want to be very careful. So don't use any sharp objects. That way you don't cut the wires and leave them exposed. But basically it's just a little bit of adhesive holding it together and you're going to split this apart. Now this one was about $20, but you guys can get them even cheaper. It really doesn't matter. All we need is the coil and to make sure that it plugs into the iPhone. And I've seen them go as cheap as like $3 on eBay. I'm not sure if I'd use those, but certainly possible. I mean, it'd be saving you a lot of money compared to Apple's version. All right, so gently, gently removing all of this. Okay, and go all the way around. So this is what we need, this wireless charging coil here. So it's basically just gonna be a hunk of copper with two leads going to a converter that's gonna charge any Apple product and including the wireless charging case, as long as there's a QI charger or Qi charger around. All right, so, so we've got that. We wanna separate this control board here. We'll be putting that on one side of the wireless charging case or the newly adopted one and this guy on the other side. So pretty simple, um, incredibly simple setup here. What you guys wanna do is make sure to remove the coil very carefully, not to bend it or uh, change it in any way. The shape needs to stay the same. Okay, cool. And this is what we're stuck here with. So you guys want to uh, go ahead and unravel just the one strand. Not much, okay, just like that. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick one side in here. So it's plugged in and we're gonna add this here and this one on the other side, just like that. So with a little bit of scotch tape, we're gonna secure everything together. And I know it looks kind of gnarly right now, but uh, once uh, we do have this on, I'm gonna show you guys my solution to covering this up and making it look a little bit better. All right, and literally using just some scotch tape to go over on both sides here. I wanna align it perfectly in the center. And before we completely tape it down, wanna make sure that it is working. So pop it against the wireless charger. And as you can see, it is charging. Pretty cool, that's like $20 of supplies and it's working. Now again, it doesn't need to be this expensive wireless charging version. It can be literally anyone just as long as it does work with an iPhone. So, um, all right, so now here's a solution for making it pretty. So that way we can wrap it around the monstrosity we've created and actually have it look good and pretty normal here. So all we need is the silicon case here. As you can see, it is adjustable. We're just gonna pop this through and it's okay if the coils bend a little bit, really doesn't matter. On the back, you wanna make sure that this slips into here. Okay, and uh, just go ahead and wiggle it over it and we'll have a working wireless charger here. All right, and here it is on the actual AirPods case. So I'm actually gonna clip this little insert for the uh, lightning port here off just because we don't need it anymore. Okay, that way it's not dangling about, but hey, it doesn't look half bad. And 
final result is that you do have a case you can quickly pop onto a wireless charger, have it charge without needing to plug it in every single time. So I think that that convenience is pretty dang cool. And for this small amount of parts from five to $20, depending on which uh, pad you get, it's not a bad price at all. So there is that part of this video. Honestly, it was a lot easier to do than I thought. And it's actually a pretty cool alternative. That way you don't have to spend more money to get Apple's new case. You can literally just adapt your old one and it actually works. That is super cool. So I like, uh, I like that it actually works. You know, usually with mods, I'm so afraid half the time that I'm gonna break something, but this one has no risk to your AirPods at all. It's literally external parts only. So super cool, doesn't look half bad. Next part of this video, sweep all this crap off of here. I wanted to show you the air power replacement. So these just hit the market. They are three pads in one. So it's not totally like the air power unit itself that it syncs with iOS and has all the software control. No, it's a cheap alternative, $30. But hey, you can charge all of your devices on it. At least I'm hoping. I'm not sure about the Apple Watch because that one only works with some Qi chargers, but I will try it right now. But uh, this is what you get and it charges at 2.1 amps. So basically the same speed as Apple's fast charger from the iPad, not the 29 watt one. So it's not totally fast wireless charging, but it's pretty dang quick. So let's go ahead and test this guy out here. Be aware that the uh, charging cable on this guy provided is really short. So I needed to grab an extension cable just to show you guys this. All right, so with our iPhone 10 in hand, let's go ahead and pop it on here. Cool working, got our AirPods right next to it, and the Apple Watch, which unfortunately I don't think will work with this. So the one drawback is that this pad will not work with your Apple Watch. I was kind of hopeful upon ordering it that it would. It only works with certain wireless chargers, some brands for Mophie and Belkin, but not from others for whatever reason. So that's a bit strange. It would be cool if it did work with all three, but hey, you get two out of three here at least. So. Uh, not Apple Watch compatible, but still a sweet little cheap air power replacement. So guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Quick little mod for you. How to get wireless charging on your Apple AirPods case. Doesn't look terrible. Actually would recommend this method. This one, uh, not so much. Doesn't really take advantage of the fast power charging and doesn't work on the Apple Watch, but hey, it is only $30 compared to the suggested or rumored price of $200 for Apple's air power mats, anywhere from $130 to $200. That's crazy for a charging mat, but you get a bunch of software integration and all that, which is kind of cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Peace.